Hey there, Internet Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars with Keeve YouTube channel. Now, this video isn't exactly about cars, but it's something that affects my cars, and something that's been going on for at least 10 years. We've been putting it off, but now it is time to take care of it. And that is the concrete back here that's kind of slowly going down over time. They may say, why put this off for so long? Well, we did get with our home insurance and we did have engineers come out to make sure that the foundation was good. Now we thought we would have to replace all these slabs back here and that would cost a fortune. And even this day and age this year, you could barely get concrete. So we're gonna do something called polyjacking or concrete leveling. So here's the damage. Do you see the cracking and drop of this part of the driveway? As you move across, this has settled more than this. This is actually, you can see the line on the porch from where this dropped from. And you can see the chipmunks. Do you see that? There's a group of chipmunks in there. Oh man, they're not gonna have fun with that foam. Now this has been going on forever, at least 10 years, if not more. It's just been a slow, slow progression. And now it's just gotten to the point where we have to take care of it. Uh, the slab I'm standing on now used to just slowly go down, but now it is starting to teeter. And it's putting a lot of pressure on that brick. So I believe under this slab right here, we have an even bigger problem. We have a bigger void than is actually there. The slab laying against the brick is keeping it from falling further or even splitting in half. So we definitely have to get this taken care of. We have an issue here where I'm rubbing off my front lip is rubbing off that concrete right there on my car Heidi and I'm having a more difficult time each year getting in and out of my garage like my driveway is not even safe for the front end of my car I found a local company called lift it right LLC uh, locally in my area and they came out I was gonna get multiple estimates but this guy was so professional uh, answered all my questions was hugely knowledgeable likable person and the quote was under what I thought it was gonna be. I was like, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and go with them. The whole slope of the land goes down to the bottom down. There's a creek that's the edge of my property. I had this side driveway made when we built the house. You see the concrete here has not moved whatsoever. The only issue we have here is uh, with a crack. And that's mainly because we had septic issue here. We've just had the whole septic system replaced. They had to cut into here to build the road nice and level. See how much slope my yard has going this way. So when they built the house, they had to dig into the hill. Well, when they build the forms for the front of the house to do the foundation and everything, they had to dig away from it. So when they fill it back in, they did it properly compact the dirt. And you can see how badly that has moved. Over here, this edge of the driveway has to have dropped maybe close to a foot. And like I said, the foundation's good. The brick doesn't move, but the driveway is dropping. Lift it right through here. Warming up the foam. Cleaning out the hose. Once it fills that void in and pushes what dirt is down there and compacts it, then it has nowhere to go. Yeah. But up. You see, this is some of the foam. We're already moving. Every time that dial goes around, it's a tenth of an inch. Yeah. The biggest thing I was worried about is like, hopefully as it raises, it pulls back that way, so it's not like cutting up the brick as it comes back up. Yeah. It's just laying against it. Yeah, it, it should. Um, I mean, it's moving that good right now. It's moving like a glove, dude. Yeah, I like that. That's one turn. And it's rolling like a top almost. So 
Oh, actually got steam coming out of it. Yeah. About 180, 200 degrees. Yeah. 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 There's, there's tons of work in Alabama. If they bought a house there, they make it ship yeah. there. Tick, tick. Yeah. That's a lot of foam. Nice. You see it separating from the house now, from the brick. Starting to move back a little bit, and rising. <laughs> a foam explosion. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for shielding me. <laughs> Sorry, I put my. So Heidi and Helen are in the garage there and they are so happy they have a nice flat driveway now. As you can see we filled in these cracks and with sealant and then we put sand on them to kind of help it blend a little bit. You can't get this stuff to match. It's just not possible. Then over here you see we were able to pull up the slab. You see how much it pulled up right there. How much foam came out the side. And this slab actually slid to the side. There's no pushing that back this way. You just gonna have to deal with that. Then over here, we actually were not able to bring this fully up to the original level because it's just too pinched against the brick. And you can see that huge mortar crack. It is pushed into the brick, pulling it down. And as we try to bring it up, we are just putting more pressure against it. And there's really no way to get in there to cut to where we can uh, make it nice and free. So we're just gonna leave it that way. So when we brought this one up, we just brought it nice and level. So it's a nice uh, watershed. You can see right here, this was that major crack. It is now like within an inch to maybe three quarters of an inch when it was down five or six inches at one point with a huge gap. Uh, we, like I said, we weren't able to bring it all the way up, but we made sure we didn't bring this all the way up so we can get a little more of a nice transition. Now these expansion joints, I'm gonna have to fill them up with some foam from Home Depot and then put sealant in them just like we did over there, but below the surface so that way we can get some water collection and the water isn't going to continue to eat underneath these slabs. That's basically it. We have to wait 24 hours for this to fully dry before we put a car on it, get it wet, so we really can't wash the driveway off right now. Well, that's it. We know we have a little bit more to do with the expansion joints, but I'm not sure we're going to have enough time. I go on vacation next week, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off this video. Lift it right where consummate professionals, they let me get over their shoulder, in, or, in and around them, constantly asking questions and to give you guys info. So think about this. They used 34 gallons of liquid, which expands 24 times. So thinking about it, over 800 gallons of foam, expanded foam, is underneath that concrete. That is just insane. And we didn't even get the middle up all the way. It was family business. We were cutting up like we'd known each other for five, 10 years, which that's the kind of business I really like. They didn't mind my GoPros all around me, constantly changing my time lapse, having to wait on me to move cameras and all that kind of stuff. Uh, just a great group of guys. Can't thank them enough. So if you're in the Atlanta area and you're looking to get something lifted with foam, check them out. If not, I hope that this video gave you the information you needed to find one in your local area. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. So now I figure I put you on. I can't even be level on this. Uh... So I figure I put you on this tripod even though I really can't even be level. On... Oh my God. So I believe under this void here, there's even, there's, so I believe under this void here, there's an even bigger problem that we have. So I believe under this slab right here, we have an even bigger problem. Oh my God. So I believe under this slab right here, we have an even, so I believe. Hey there, internet, Keith here and welcome. Why do I do this? I'll leave a link in the description below for, I'll leave a link in, I'll leave a link in the description below for you so you can go get I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll leave a link in the description below for their website. It's kind of, it's, I'll leave a link in the, oh my God. I'll leave a link in the description. 
I'll leave a link in the description for their website. It's very informative. It's got videos and everything showing, showing it. Oh my god. Uh, Lift It Right was consummate professional. Lift It Right were consummate professionals. Didn't mind me over them. Lift It Right were consummate professionals. They let me. Yeah, he's in a suspension. <laughs>